Okay, so let's look at prime numbers and composite numbers. So I'm just going to divide this to 2. So we have prime numbers and composite numbers. Now what is the difference between the two? Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. So they have only two factors. Which is one in the number itself. Whereas composite number have three and more factors. Because if it has two factors, then it is a prime number. Now, prime number starts at 1. Although 1 is not really recognized as a prime number, but it is a prime number though. Then the next number is 2. Because the number that divides into 2 is 2 and 1 itself. Remember, when we talk about the, the factor that divides into this number, when that factor divides into this number, there should be no remainder. If there is any remainders, then it is not a successful division. So it, two can divide successfully into himself, and one can divide into two. Then the next one is three. So three can divide into itself, and uh, one can divide into three. Four, however, is not a prime number, because four can be divided by four itself, two, and one so four in that regard is going to be a composite number because it has three and more factors in this case only three factors five is going to be five and one so that's two factors then that makes it a prime number then six numbers that can divide into six it's six three two and one that is four factors so it will fall under composite numbers then we have the next number is 7. 7 is going to be prime because it is only 1 and 7. Then we have 8. In 8, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. So that makes it a, that is right, a composite number. Then 9. 9 is 1, 3 and 9. Therefore 9 is going to be a composite number. 10. 10. Is going to be 1, 2, 5, and 10. That's four factors. It must be a composite number. 11 is 1 and 11, so it is a prime number. And 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So that is a composite number. And 13 is a prime number. We are going to stop here at 13. But you see what is happening here. And remember, prime numbers are not necessarily uneven or odd numbers only it can be even numbers as well two is a uh, is an even number so we see that there are e even numbers in there as well although the majority of even numbers are going to be uh, composite numbers okay so you can go on and you can uh, continue as far as you can and see how far you can get have fun okay